Good morning, and welcome to my prayer closet. I'm very happy that you clicked the link today. Today, we will be praying that you can hear from God. If this is your first time here, we pray, we study God's word on this channel, and we provide you tips to help you live your life victoriously. If you can benefit from any one or all three of those things, I personally invite you to hit the subscribe button to become a part of our faith family. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. And remember to let the prayers play uh, throughout the day or while you're driving to let your faith grow, grow, grow. Amen. As I mentioned before, we're going to be praying that you hear from God. Being able to get a word from the Lord can absolutely change your lives. Now, for some of you, you might be wondering, Kim Yetta, you know, how do I know I'm hearing from God? I am going to give you the simplest way to discern hearing from God. If you um, have a notion or thought to do something, you have questions to ask yourself. One, is what I heard something God wants me to do? Let's say you don't know. Two, is what I heard something I want to do? Or is what I heard something the devil wants me to do? Lastly, does this line up with the word of God? An example, you're not happy on your job and the thought pops in your head to get smart and say something kind of negative to someone via email. Put it through the filter. A, does God want you to do that? No. Do you want to do it? Maybe. Would the devil want you to be mean to someone? Yes. Lastly, what does the word of God say about controlling my tongue? Those are things to consider. Here's another one. What if randomly you get a thought just out of nowhere, the thought occurs to you to bless someone financially with money, especially if it's someone you feel like, uh, I don't know. Ask yourself, does God want me to give someone money? Maybe he does. Do I want that? No way. Would the devil want me to bless somebody financially? No. Does the Bible encourage me to give so it can be given unto me? Yes. That is a simplistic way to discern whether or not something is God. Now, it won't always be that black and white, but that's one of the ways I begin the process of making sure something is from God. Okay, so I'm going to pray today that you have an ear to hear exactly what God wants you to hear, not what you want to hear, okay? Because sometimes God will tell us things that we don't want to hear. We have to be mature enough spiritually to hear from God and then act on it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I lift up each and every one of my precious sisters to you. Father, your word says in John 10, 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And so, Father, we are your sheep. And so there are my sisters who are listening today. They need to hear your voice, God. And so, Father, I'm praying they'll have an open ear and heart to hear from you. The Bible says in Romans 10, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. So these are faith-filled women. And they hear from you. If there are women that are confused, I bind the spirit of confusion. If there are women that don't know how to discern your voice, I pray today is a new day. I pray these women will not listen to outside voices. They won't listen to the devil. They won't even listen to themselves if they're all over the place. They will get on their face to hear from you. John 8 says, whoever is of God, hears the words of God. Father, we are of you, so we want to hear your words. 
Father, we don't want to go if you don't want us to go. And Father, we don't want to stay if you don't want us to stay. Father, we don't want to make decisions outside of your will. Lord Jesus, being in your will is the safest place to be. And so today, I pray that these precious ladies hear your voice. And then they have the courage to follow it. Lord, these are not confused ladies. These are ladies that hear from you, that know you, that love you, that want to follow you. Luke 11 says, blessed rather of those who hear the word and, and keep it. Father, we want to hear from you. We want to draw close to you so we can know you, Lord, and we can follow you. Psalms 32, 8 says, I'm going to instruct these ladies and teach them in the way they should go and guide them. Father, we pray for Holy Ghost guidance, Lord. Holy Ghost guidance. So we're making wise, godly decisions that are in complete alignment with your will. It's in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Well, ladies, I pray that uh, prayer was helpful for you. And while I was praying with the Lord impressed upon my heart is intimacy. You see, if you are not developing your relationship with God on a daily basis, then it's going to be hard to hear from him. And developing a relationship with the Lord is not all coming and just saying, give me, give me, give me every single day. There should be days that you're just coming to the Lord's presence to praise him. If you want to hear from God, draw close to him. Get close to him by spending time with him. Spending time in the word. Spending time worshiping. And it'll become easier and easier to hear from him because you're already close to him. Amen. I love you all dearly and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.